The Splunksor Visual Playbook Editor is used to build and edit automation playbooks. You create playbooks graphically on an editing canvas using function blocks and filters, and simply drag and drop functions onto the canvas to dictate the playbook's order of operation. Now, in August 2021, the Splunksor product team announced the availability of an updated Visual Playbook Editor. This new, more modern version offers a simplified interface with a bolder color palette, new block shapes to clearly differentiate between block types, and the most obvious change, we switched the orientation of playbooks from horizontal to vertical, making it easier to scroll up and down your playbook for easier viewing. We also created a feature called Input Playbooks that allow you to start small and create simple automations like a URL reputation lookup or blocking a file. And then you can leverage those input playbooks across larger, more complex use cases like a phishing response playbook or malware investigation playbook. This modular approach to playbook building makes it easier to get started with SOAR, but also makes it easier and faster to scale automation across your security operations center. So let's build a simple input playbook and then leverage that playbook in a larger investigation. So here I am in Splunk Store and I'll choose input playbook and that will take me to my editing canvas. I'll enter my input variable and data type URLs. I'll then create a new action for our playbook by dragging and dropping a function block. I tell Soar that I want to do a URL reputation check and that shows me the different tools available that can perform that reputation lookup. I'll choose virus total since that tool is very familiar to most analysts and my playbook input will be request URL and then name my action virus total URL reputation check. Now I'll create a filter block by using a new keyboard shortcut command B for block and command five, which is the fifth option in this row. The filter is a funnel shape, which clearly delineates the filter from other action blocks. So we then tell the filter that three or more positive hits means that it's a bad URL. And less than three hits means it's unknown. Once Virus Total does that analysis and provides a result, we tell the playbook to add a comment in our investigation so the analyst can see the results of the automation. For instance, malicious URLs were found or no malicious URLs were found. To finish, we connect to the end block and this is where we can add output parameters that let us plug this simple playbook into other more complex investigations. For instance, it could be leveraged in a phishing response playbook like this, or even an endpoint malware response or ransomware investigation. This modular approach to playbook building is the future and lets you reuse more of your playbooks across use cases, helping you scale automation faster across your SOC.